So some things about past life connections, what I'm kind of realising and you know when you sort of get to a point where you've healed from any various trauma or weird karmic stuff that's connected to it and you find your internal peace, is that um, some of those souls may not have found their own peace and you know if, you, if, if we, we've had clear visions of um, being in battle and Valhalla and various Viking remembrances and um, Bodicea and stuff, things like that, war and battle. Um, what what that can trigger is also those people trying to pull you back into the drama and the darkness and battle of war. Whereas in this incarnation, I'm not here to battle. <laughs> I've already done my battling. The evolution of our souls over the ages gets to a point where you find the reason why we're alive. You find the reason why we're meant to be here. Find, sorry. We find peace and we start to observe certain reasons why we feel we might be in this realm right now. And so I'm not here to get involved in anyone else's drama, anyone else's sort of um, missions or battles, because at the end of the day, as a collective of if we consider ourselves light workers or whatever, I'm here to be part of a love vibration. And I will have very, very firm boundaries up about anybody that comes towards me with chaotic or um, confusing energy. This is no disrespect to people, but we have to move through our own battles by ourselves. And I've learnt that when nobody gave a shit and I was left in a place that I was struggling to get out of. And um, I have all, I have much empathy and compassion for people going through things right now. But when stuff, when you make your emergency somebody else's emergency. My emergency was nobody else's emergency, so I don't really un understand, because in this game, this battle of whatever we're trying to learn in life, and it's not a battle, because I kind of don't want to say that, so I don't want this to come across confusing, but the energies are coming through right now that, that are trying to distort the, the, the message, is... We have to do the healing on our own. My emergency was nobody else's emergency and um, we realise we are the ones that have to pull us out of our own predicaments. Of course it's beautiful to have warriors and soldiers around and I believe that's what many of us are building right now because we protect our peace and we protect love at all costs. So however the love and the, the peace manifest eating slowly, being silent, not having text or phone calls all the time. Um, being in relationships, like loving people, loving our surroundings. How those manif uh, vibrations manifest, love and peace, will not be in alignment with um, other people's projections. Um, other people's expectations of, of what you should do when they need help. I never knew that humanity had got to a point where if you saw someone having an issue that people would walk on by. I didn't know that. I've experienced it. And so to keep the humanity and the compassion in me after such a test... I have to maintain boundaries as well because I'm a very sensitive person and it was the intuition and psychic stuff that got me into that predicament in the first place unknowingly. Like I was here never to, well, I can't say that because that was part of uh, apparently a soul, soul, um, soul alignment, part of the healing of the nations and the ancestors because people don't realise healing of the nations is also ancestral. And I'm not here, I'm not taking on anybody else's karma. I've learned all of that. I am not here to save anybody. I work with the souls who get consciously drawn to me. And I work very intentionally with energy. And sometimes this means that I do not want to mix energies. 
is very, very important for me because this work matters. I, I, d I don't believe there are enough conscious people among us doing this work. I think people just want the money and I think people want a pretty photo on Instagram. Spiritual health, cleansing, protection is really important. And for me, I don't want to blend energies of things that have happened in my past to a point where I'm healed now and I'm working consciously with other souls. It's different parts of life. My emergency was nobody else's emergency. So I have to focus on my personal healing journey and how I can contribute to the healing of the nations. It is tough love. That's what I'm realizing. I didn't know that in certain ways. It is karma. So, when people take fairy demeanor for a small little English woman for granted or take kindness for weakness, they will see different sides of me. They will see different sides of all of us sensitives who have been pushed over, who have been misled or misguided. Obviously, that's our fault, but when we don't know or have never met that type, sort of energy before, these are new experiences and I know that spirit has my back. I know I didn't come here to die in any weird way. I'm on the planet as part of the healing of the nations for the long haul. Whenever spirit sees fit, I shall cease from this realm and I believe I will be soul satisfied with the journey and the life that I have lived. But I don't believe it is fair and I am all about fairness and karmic balance, karmic retribution, justice the scales. I am of Venus. Libra is my, I was going to say counterpart, but that's not really my, it's not really my opposite, but Venus is, also, I'm Taurian, Venus also rules Libra. So the scales and balance and justice, and I have a very strong soul brother from the motherland who is a Libran and who has been part of the protective field around me because my ancestors and I connect with his ancestors and he connects with mine. And I'm not here to get involved in anybody else's drama. No one wanted to know about mine. So, quite frankly, leave me alone. 